about some of those things and uh, I issued an invitation to uh, one of their members to join my anti-poverty commission. Also uh, uh, invited them to look at our homelessness report that was just issued uh, and to make comment. Did they, were they aware of all you've done tonight? They're very, very well informed. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're very well informed. Um, in terms of them camping out anywhere in the city, what was discussed? What can you tell us about that? Well. Uh, I think that uh, in order for that to happen, there would have to be a change in the, uh, the law, and that would uh, have to come from the city council. And so uh, I think the city council would have to, uh, at least five members of the city council would have to come together to change any uh, ordinances or laws, um, because as, as it stands, the law is pretty, uh, pretty set and pretty firm in terms of encampment. Did they come to you asking you if there was a place that they could set up? Um, and it would be okay with, with the city? I, mean, that I, think that, I think it was a very amicable meeting, and I think that we had a very good dialogue. Uh, I think they knew the constraints under which uh, we're operating in terms of what the law really is. And I think that we spent a little bit of time trying to figure out how we can perhaps go forward. We agreed that this would not be our last meeting. What do they want? Uh -huh. What do they want? Uh, they feel very strongly about their ability to exercise their First Amendment rights of uh, free speech, and they want to be able to uh, change uh, the way society works, and they feel that they can do that through uh, protest and agitation. But they're very nonviolent. They're taking cues from the civil rights uh, movement, and one of their uh, idols is Martin Luther King. Any chance that they will be removing themselves from your neighbor's lawn anytime soon? We did not discuss that. <laughs> was that not up for discussion? Or? We just didn't come up. Didn't come up. How do you feel about them being here next door? Uh, Get that next door. Well, uh, my neighbors uh, are concerned about their, their public safety, and uh, my neighborhood is a very uh, uh, quiet uh, neighborhood where people basically know each other. And so when uh, there are people around that are not known, uh, there's obviously some feeling of discontent. You know, our kids are out as early as 6 o'clock in the morning uh, catching buses and it's dark. And so there are, there are concerns uh, about it. Uh, in fact, I went to the Brookburg Civic Association on last night and uh, they have begun to circulate a petition. Uh, and I imagine that, that will be delivered to uh, my neighbor. I think you said you collected 45 signatures last night. Um, it looked to me like there were about 50 people at the meeting, so I, I don't know how many signatures were. Uh, do you have a set data as to when you're going to meet with them again? Uh, further discuss any other topics? Uh, we have not. We don't have a set date, but uh, my doors open. Uh, we, when I went to Canal Plaza, uh, I indicated to them that I would be willing to meet with them, and we're making the order today. Uh, so, yeah. You mean the proverbial door, not the door in the house? 
<laughs> is safety a concern when they do camp out? Do you worry about safety with the families? You said your kids. Uh, my kids are grown. Well, I mean, the kids around <laughs> your neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you know, these young people are seem to be very, you know, they're, they're, they're well-educated, learned people. And, uh, but when people you don't know are in your neighborhood, uh, it presents uh, a sense of uh, uh, suspicion. Uh, and particularly when we have young, young children walking around, you know, these are difficult times. You have to be careful about uh, uh, who's in the neighborhood. How did you address that with them? We did not talk about it. Do you have extra police assigned to your house at this point? The police have a responsibility to keep our neighborhoods safe. There is talk that you haven't been staying at your home this week. Have you been staying at a hotel or outside the home? Uh, can you answer that? I would never abandon my neighborhood in light of this situation. Uh, so I'm with my neighbors. So you have been home this week? The only reason I'm hesitating is because where I sleep is, I think, my personal business, but I have been home this week. A lot of these uh, Occupy movements around the country have turned violent, and a lot of, you know, the different city leaders um, are, you know, trying to, you know, change that. These young people have indicated that they don't want any violence, that they don't want any confrontation. They're about their mission, and they have a commitment to nonviolence. Um, just real quick, there's been hope that you might come out to uh, Mr. Boone's yard and address Occupy's person. Is there any reason why you haven't done that yet? Like, because I do city said, business in City Hall. So there's no plan to point? I understand you've been invited to say, Thanksgiving dinner. I, I, I've not been invited. Mr. Boone, you had he has not invited me to Thanksgiving dinner. And um, I do business, city business at City Hall. If you were invited to Thanksgiving dinner, would you go? Uh, that's a possibility, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. okay. So I think we'll go back into the room to, oh, excuse me, get the statement from me. Get their statement. Okay. Mayor, thank you. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.